All right, I guess we are live. So hello, gentlemen, and welcome to the testing video for the 500 kilograms challenge. Hello, Mr. Tumert. Hello, Mr. Spazi. And thank you guys for joining. You are the first two to join. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining as the first guys. Uh, well, I'm still setting up everything. I hope that everything is working as it should be. Could you please confirm that the, uh, the volume the picture everything is working as it should be. I would love if you can confirm that so we can begin the testing right I'm still setting up absolutely everything but I don't know if my microphone is working so far but yeah so Mr. Spotty said it's all working good that's really good that's really helpful thank you and okay let me share the link to Discord so people can actually join in. Here we go, just a moment. Um, announcements, here we go. Just a moment. And send. All right. All right, gentlemen, the link is in and we are in beamng.drive. Right, gentlemen, so as, 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 as all of you know, a week went by, I've downloaded all the cars. Some of them unfortunately got disqualified. Some of them will get disqualified in this testing stream because I've already take a quick, took a quick look on the cars that we have here. And yes, some of them will actually get the DNF or did not finish. So good luck to all of you, my friends. And now, of course, let's start testing because, of course, I'm gonna be, of course, uh, I'm gonna be, of course, uh, you know, exporting this video to YouTube so people can actually watch it over there. Ah, thank you so much, Mr. Spadi. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for that. All right, gentlemen. So we are live, and now, of course, let's hit the time trails uh, into, of course, the Road Atlanta circuit. I've already mentioned the, that in the announcement that, that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna be, of course, testing all the cars using Road Atlanta circuit because you know it's an official circuit, and well, the creator of the challenge, Mr. Elmac, is the sponsor of this challenge. Thanks to him, of course, he mentioned that he wants the, all the cars to be tested using Road Atlanta. So. Here we go, selecting Road Atlanta. And all right, let's begin with the first one. It's called the ALPI A13. Right, now there's a surprise here. So uh, as you can see, we'll, we'll be doing a two lap event to you know to make, to make sure everything is working, the car is actually surviving and everything. So let's hit the start button and see what we get, what we, what we have. Here we go. Now, as I mentioned, some will get uh, the you know the did not finish or the dnf and for, for for different reasons so yeah yeah so so a lot of cars will get the dnf unfortunately but you know uh, who knows maybe some will, will be awesome maybe some will be awful who knows but yeah i'm really excited because uh, yeah a lot of you guys sent me some really really awesome things so let's start with the first one yeah, so this first one, as I mentioned, is called the ALPI because, uh, well, that's the name of it. Let me get my handy dandy book so we can talk about the specs. As you can see, our BMNG definitely it's taking its time to load the track and everything. Usually it's just like that. Ah. Yeah, that's that's surprising, guys. That is really, really crappy because I believe I believe that BeamNG stopped working. As you can see, look at look at the loading line. Look at the orange stupid loading line. As you can see, it's moving, but it's not loading any file. Yep. So thank you, BeamNG. Let's close it, and well, let's reopen it again. Thank you so much, BeamNG, for your happiness. Let's fire it up again. This problem always happens on the road Atlanta circuit for some reason. Here we go. Sorry about that, gentlemen. Let's start again. It happens all the time using the road, the, the road Atlanta circuit. All right, here we go. Let's try again. Hello, Mr. Mernon. Hello, my friend. Thank you so much for joining the testing video. 
Here we go. Let's try again. Hopefully this time it will work. If it doesn't work, then we move on to something else. Come on. Come on, BMG, come on. I don't know if it's loading or not. It, it seems like it, it's not loading, gentlemen. There's there's definitely a problem with Beam NG with this stupid Road Atlanta map. It's not loading. It's not loading at all. Right. So, any suggestion, gentlemen? Any suggestion that will help making it work? Because I've already closed the game and you know re forced to close the game and I actually reopened it. So, any suggestion? Because it's not loading, as you can see, it just gets stuck like this. Mr. Mernon, Mr. True Merit, Mr. Spazi gets stuck like this. I think on the free and on the free roam, or the free roam mode actually, it works fine. But here, using the time trail, it's just it's not working at all. Okay, let's try one more last time. One more last time. But this time, I'm gonna I'm gonna load the map. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to open uh, the mode, the, you know, in free roam mode to see if it actually load. Here we go. Here we go. Where is Road Atlanta? Now I'm using the free roam uh, mode. Here we go. Road Atlanta default. Oh, for God's sake! Come on. Ah, here we go. So as you can see, using freedom mode, this thing actually is loading fine, but using the time trail, there is something crappy going on. So let's try again. All right, here we go. Road Atlanta again. Any other versions? Mega um, Chicane, whatever, Baba's Hills. No, I want the fully Road Atlanta. There you go. Okay, okay, gentlemen. So, okay, okay. Before, before we start, uh, before we start driving them. Okay, let, let me before because I, I don't want to waste your time loading these broken cars. Because yes, we do have some broken cars. Let me show because this is the list for the cars tonight. The st starting with the ALPI, the ATR 500, the BBX e a AES, Catan Super Legera. We have the Dragoona, the LMAC 500, the Envoy. Uh, Lamina 4, we have the Falcon T500X, we have the Gamma 3.0, the Halcon XR8, the CAG Micro GT, the MAC uh, L17 500 kg spec, the Model 184, the MRN RS500, we have the Regal uh, Diavolo, Div we have the Serpentine S4-TR, hello Mr. TechnoGuzz, uh, we have the Strata B500, the Superleggera 500, the Tofik Motors Bazinga, and the, the U-Car Metro 18 livery something, and of course the the you know the prize car, the X-Type Racer, and the Yuri I think Yuri Yuri Khan. So yeah, so there we have a long list of cars, but don't worry. Yeah, Bazinga. Yeah, but don't worry about that because we do have some broken cars right now. I'm using the free roam mode. And let me show you what kind of a broken cars, what kind of broken cars we have. Starting with the, unfortunately, the ALPI. Let me load this thing quickly. So I can show you that, unfortunately, this thing is broken. Yep. Every time you load it. Yep. As you can see, this car, the ALPI, is absolutely broken, and it, it's, it looks sad, as you can see. I mean, yes, I'm sorry, but it, it, it looks sad from the front, and it's broken. So, the first DNF car is the ALPI. Let me put an X sign next to it on my book, because it's broken. This is the first car in. The second broken car that we have here, which is the model 184. I'm assuming it's the, the problem is with the body itself, as you can see. Let me load the other one. The model 184. Yep. 
this is here's the second one as you can see the rear wheels get broke it gets broken uh, the, for the front ones are actually working but the rear ones are So as you can see the second one is also broken let me put an x sign next to it on my book the model 184 unfortunately this one is broken now let me show the third broken car unfortunately which is and i didn't expect that i mean i i expected another thing but unfortunately this car is absolutely broken which is and i'm sorry to say this it's called the regali regale diavolo yes which is the porsche the Porsche body. I didn't expect that. Yep. Nope, it's broken. Unfortunately, this is also broken, which is the 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 Avolo, the Avolo, whatever the name of it. So let me unfortunately put an X sign next to it on my book because yeah as you can see it's absolutely broken what was the name of it something the ah the regale okay regale here we go x sign next to it unfortunately because it's broken as well so basically these are the broken cars the cars that when when you load them uh you know the game will load at least those are the ones that i know about all right now let's try and load the that means let's see how many cars we have left we have one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen cars to test. Okay, eighteen cars to test. Good. All right, that means less problems. Okay, so now let's try and load uh, the map again, but this time with a working car. So let's start with the ATR 500 two laps event. Let's cross our fingers and press play. Come on, BNG, come on, be a good game and load it. Uh, I don't I, I really don't think this, this thing will load. I really don't think this thing will load. There's something broken with the Road Atlanta file, the Road Atlanta time trail file. So I think I'm gonna be switching to another track. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be definitely switching to another track. This thing is not loading at all. It, it, this thing loads perfectly, you you know, on the free on the freedom mode, but as you can see on the time trail, it's not loading at all. I don't know why because I did I didn't I, I made a lot of previous challenges and I and I've driven and I, you know, racing cars and regular cars on this map before in the past and it, it was loading fine, but as you can see it's broken tonight yeah so let me close beam ng for the last time and i have an i have another track which i think you will like it's uh, it's short it's narrow it's beautiful it's compact i think it's perfect for these cars but it's very difficult to drive on so so let's uh so let's you know wish me a little bit of luck because it's not an easy map to drive on Right, so I think uh, the problem with that body is uh, I think uh, I think every every car that you can create that body will get will be broken. I think if you do that special special you know looking body. Hello, Mr. Vistrowski. Hello, my friend. So it happened to me. Uh, all I did was delete the track mode and reinstall. Okay, let's try that. Why not? Let's try that. Let's go into the mode modes whatever the hell the name is. Here we go. Where is Road Atlanta? Road Atlanta. Ah, here we go. Road. This is Road Atlanta. Okay, let's try and um, delete it. Here we go. Now, of course, let's go to mode. Let's let's type Road Atlanta. Here we go. So we have two versions of Road Atlanta. We have what's that? The De depreciated brought from uh, R Factor. Obviously, I think this one is heavier means better, right? So I'm gonna download this one. It's heavier. That means it's it's got more things in it. Yeah, here we go. Let's try again. Now, as you can see, I I deleted the thing and now I'm reinstalling it again. 
let's let's see if this tip will work here we go here we go it's in here we go it's in let's try again uh road atlanta ah there is something different i think there is the rally okay okay let's try it i think this time will work i think this time it will work here we go atr 500 two laps event and here we go yep it's loading yes hallelujah it's loading thank you thank you gentlemen all right here we go it's loading it's loading that's great all right starting with the first one it's called the atr 500 right gentlemen so the first car that we have here come on what's happening man this thing is jinxed and auto and beam ng crashed man this thing is jinxed tonight this thing is absolutely jinxed come on someone is definitely like messing <laughs> the game is definitely messing with us tonight this thing is broken for god's sake here we go one more time one more time for god's sake this time work atr 500 two laps event play Oh my god, the game keep crashing, guys. The game keeps on crashing. What the what the hell is wrong with the, with the game? Wow, this thing is absolutely crap. I've I've never I've never seen such a thing in my life. The game just breaks. Okay, let's try right now the free roam mode. Let's try and load the map first. Let's try and load it into the system first. Here we go, starting line. Man, this thing is really jinxed. I'm using the the, the, the LiDAR version, whatever the hell the name of it. I'm using the same version. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm loading it. Here we go. So this, this thing is loading fine again in the free roam mode, as you can see. But every time that I'm trying to load the tra the time trail, it just gets crushed. Here you go, Road Atlanta. Let's try the, as I mentioned, the Road Atlanta full circuit. Okay, let's try another car. Let's start the BBX. Maybe it will work this time. What? What? Where, where are the tires? What the? What? What happened? Yeah, we lost the rear right tire. What the hell's wrong with the game? Okay. Wow. So. Okay, we lost a tire here. What the hell is wrong with BMG tonight? Okay, let's try the ATR one more time. What is wrong with BMG? Here we go. This thing is loading fine. Okay, I think so. Yeah. Alright, so let's start with this one. Obviously, I think we have another DNF car, but okay, let's start with this one. 
So, okay, hopefully this one will actually work fine. So the first card that we have here is called the ATR500. This thing is running with a 900cc Boxer 4 Turbo. It's rear-wheel drive and it's pushing 230 horsepower. Yes, my friends, 230 horsepower with a 500 kilogram car. That's not bad, actually. And as you can see, it looks rather fine. As you can see, it looks actually very nice. You know, 1980s specs all the way. And I like that. It looks very fine to me. Sweet noise. Uh, I think the exhaust is broken. As you can see, the smoke is being shot on the side. Yep. So, yeah, the, the exhaust is a bit broken, but good. All right, so let's start testing with the first one and see what's what. This thing is real drive and it's mid-engine and it's working nicely. Sweet. For God's sake. Okay. That is why I went to that event. Okay. It's a bit understeery on speed. Oh my god! What a stupid end. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. Okay, let's make it fair. Sorry about wasting your your time, guys, but I really want to make it fair for everyone. So let me let me let me change some things first. I'm sorry about that, but. Sorry about wasting your time, gentlemen, but it, I don't know. I, let me just change some things first. Let me get my seat nicely done because I really want to drive this thing hard without any problems. Sorry about that. So let's try again. Here we go. Tonight, 
what, what, what were you saying? What were you saying, Mr. Technogaz? When you do an automation stream, I have an idea. What, what, like what kind of an idea? have it. Matthew, hello, my friend. There you go. All right, finally. Oh, goodness. All right, so the first one, with oh my goodness, so the first one actually we finished with a time of 1 minute 28.104 as this is like the fastest time that I that I could do with this thing with a total time of 3 minutes, uh, 3 minutes exactly, 3 minutes point oh point nine two four. Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, yes, I did spun out at the first, uh, the first, uh, you know, the first time that I drove it, but for a rear-wheel drive, mid-engine car, this thing actually is extremely straight, stable. The power is phenomenal, and well, the grip is extremely hard, and I love that. This thing actually feels very nice to drive. It's a bit understeer on speed because, of course, of, 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 this thing is being pushed really hard with, with tons of downforce. But I love it. It's really not bad at all. All right, so the first car is done. Let's try our luck with the, with the second car. Let's try and load the BBX again. If the rear tire gets blown again that means this thing will get a dnf but if it loads correctly then of course we drive it here we go so the atr 500 is done let me put a check ah here we go this thing is actually same tire as you can see yep same tire gets blown away so bbx is out for having the broken tire broken rear uh, rear right tire all right so second second car is done. Let's move on with number three, which is the Catan 
Super Legera. Where are you, Mr. Spazi? Because I believe the Catan is your car. All right, gentlemen. So the next car is called the Catan, then. The Catan Super Legera. I think Super Legera, I think it's Italian for super light, maybe. So the Catan Super Legera is running with a uh, 222 horsepower. Uh, 852 cc engine it's a four-cylinder turbo and it's all wheel drive and as you can see it looks um it looks actually cool you know there are some funny jokes on the side of it we have massive disc brakes and we have an oil cooler up front very nice we have a tow hook nice amount of uh, sponsorship stickers again some nice jokes on the side you know it looks funky and i think functional so Let's give it a go and see what's what. Here we go. Oh, very short gearing. Very, very short gearing. Okay. Alright, not bad. are pretty strong very very strong brakes whoa it's gonna flip on the side I believe we have achieved the top speed, 190, 91, something like this, you know, that's it. Oh, the brakes are really strong. Right, okay, so yes, uh, as you can see, this, this thing around corners is actually very, very fun, but in a straight line, unfortunately, it's very slow. The first car was actually topping around 240 kilometers per hour on the straight line. This one can barely achieve 198, maybe. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, this thing around corners feels like it's running on super glue, which is absolutely fun. Uh, but you know on the straight lines it's crap unfortunately it's really slow i love the looks i love the performance but the speed is not really that impressive i think because this thing is running so much downforce the speed limit is very low 
but as you can see it's actually very very fun to drive absolutely fun around corners it's absolutely very 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 fun you just keep your foot hard down and it will corner no problem whatsoever you know unlike the previous car the previous car you can understeer and hit a tree but this one actually feels extremely grippy all right very nice work by mr spazi very very nice an awesome creation that might nice work indeed let me put the check mark on my book and let's move on with the next beast right so after the Catan super Legera, we have the dragoona k500 str 11. all right all right gentlemen so so far yes we started the, the, the live stream with a shaky start the game refused to run for a few times and everything was broken and now of course we are enjoying our time yes indeed impressive grip indeed mr Tarix. yeah all right gentlemen the next beast that we have here it's called the dragona k500 this thing is running with a naturally aspirated two liter four cylinder engine pushing 247 horsepower it's all wheel drive as you can see and as you can see it looks absolutely sweet to be honest it looks uh, yes it looks like an off-road vehicle but you know it was made for the track and i like it I, I love the door cutaway i love the decals the special racing tires the front mad lip or um, wing or whatever the hell the name of it i like it look at that there's also a license plate but that means it's actually registered sweet sweet noise natural aspirated power let's see what's what That's it. It's limited. That's it. Wow. So, yep, 1 minute 
20, what is the best time? 1 minute 29 or 25, 25.554. Wow, 1 minute 25, that's really awesome. So yeah, with a total time of 2 minutes 55.377, which makes this thing the fastest car that we have driven so far. Now, I love this thing because it's extremely grippy around corners. You can actually corner it while doing very, very high speeds, like uh, on those uh, mixed chicanes after that little bump on the right, you can actually, I, I actually achieved around 188 kilometers per hour. Like I was, I was going between those, you know, apexes and I was doing 188 kilometers per hour, which is very, very fast, like cornering. But on the straight lines, it feels very unstable. Like the cars start dancing left and right. It feels like, feels like it's gonna, you know oversteer or lose control and crash it feels like that so you have to be really careful because when you reach the limit of the speed uh you know beam ng as you can as, as you may have seen uh, the the throttle will become stuck at 55 percent something like this so yeah it feels a little bit twitchy on on the on the straight line but around around the track oh my god this thing is absolutely so much fun amazing amazing all right, so very, very nice work to the Draguna creator. Very, very sweet work indeed. Let me put the check mark next to it on my book and let's move on with the next beast. Right, so after the Draguna, we have, oh, 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 oh my Lord, we have the Ilmac 500 Mark One. Yep. And the reason that I'm laughing, well, well, let me, let me just show you how this thing drives and you can judge yourself why am I saying something like this but first let me do let me do something quickly on my phone uh, let me just make sure everything is working fine let me see stream health perfectly everything is perfect okay here we go right so as I mentioned this is the Elmac 500 mark one which is basically the creator of the challenge or the sponsor of this challenge basically racing car this is his own car mr l max car and i believe it was made by him and tuned by mr maybe quest triple three i think or maybe him alone but he always mentioned that mr quest triple three he always like uh, he's always like involved in most of his cars so this thing and i'm not joking this thing is pushing 408 horsepower yes my friends 408 horsepower from a 1.1 liters four cylinder turbo and it's all wheel drive yes 408 horsepower in this little thing so yeah prepare yourself my friends because this thing is gonna be extremely difficult to control so here we go. Oh yeah, the brakes. The brakes on this thing are a bit, a bit crazy. The brakes are fading a bit. This thing stopped actually, so it's fine. Whoa, look at that! Whoa, this thing is so crazy.
Whoa! Oh my god, this thing did a 1 minute 19.586 and I was actually making a lot of mistake. I, I mistakes. I was actually like trying my best to keep the power in a controllable manner and I did 1 minute 19.586 wow with a total time of two minutes 43.857 oh my god this thing is absolutely crazy to drive 408 horsepower it's all-wheel drive and it grips like super glue with thanks of course to tons and tons of downforce this thing took the last corner you know you know the last corner before the finishing line I was flooring it and it, I, I mean if you if you if you steer it really hard you can actually hit the wall because there's so much grip and you I mean doing basically the top speed of it and you can actually hit the wall because there is so much downforce that can actually make you corner even doing the top speed wow <laughs> oh my god Mr. Ilmac actually did it and I don't know i don't know if we can get another car that can beat this time or not i don't know i really don't know if we can actually destroy this time or not but who knows let's see we have we tested five cars so far and yeah we have a monster indeed at the first place so nice work to mr ilmac and well good luck to the to all of you my friends i don't know if you can beat this time or not but let's see all right, so after this green monster, the Elmac 500 Mark 1, we have the Envoy Lamina, Lami Lamina 4, basically. Right. All right, let's see how this thing will run, and let's see what kind of specs we have. Let me, and also let me put the uh, the, the check mark next to the Elmac. All right, so the next the next the next car actually received a star because it looks absolutely awesome. There is a, there are a lot of details going on, really amazing attention to details, with an 800 cc four cylinder turbo pushing 200 horsepower only, and it's all wheel drive. Yep, this thing actually received a star because well, look at it. It looks <laughs> absolutely stunning. Yeah, look at that. Nicely, nice amount of details, nice amount of stickers, sponsorship, and we have the racing driver. It's called there's a British flag, and it's called G Todd. Maybe that's the driver name or the creator name. Sweet. Oh, look at the side exhaust. Sweet. All right. So 200 horsepower only. Let's let's see what these 200 horses will do. Ah, do clutch. Okay. Whoa, it's, it's very grippy. Yeah. Wow, these 200 horses are actually very angry. I like that. I like angry horse now. Yep, seventh gear. There is no eight in dual clutch, only automatic. Yep, seven only. There, there is no eight, my friend. You don't have the eight option. All right, not bad. This thing actually is very fun around corners. bad i'm sorry my bad i went too fast i really trust this thing and i went too fast my apologies let's try again i'll be careful Mm-hmm. 
It's not that fast, well, it's actually twitchy a little bit, not to dance at high speed, but still, it's not bad. And basically this is the total time of it the quickest lap that i could do with this thing is 1 minute 32.639 not bad actually it's pretty sweet around corners it's extremely grippy and the power is not too much i mean it's only 200 but the grip is actually phenomenal and i love that the grip is really really sweet and uh, well the, the car looks amazing it got a star because well it looks absolutely sweet and uh, the grip as i mentioned is extremely awesome the power and the speed i mean the speed it, it did around 204 208 like on the straight line not bad actually it's really not bad but the power doesn't really feel like a racing car it's only like 200 horsepower you know but you know for, for the size of the engine because you know it's, it's actually a small engine it's only 800 cc engine you know ltc 200 horsepower yes it's good but not really enough to move this thing uh, in the way that i was expecting but I love it. It's actually a pretty sweet car. 3 minutes 08.693 in total. So very, very nice work. All right, we have driven five cars so far. And uh, right, uh, let's see what we have next. It's actually good. As I mentioned, it, the grip is beautiful. The looks is awesome. I love the looks of it. I mean, it got a star because it looks phenomenal. And uh, the grip is beautiful. But the power, you know, it is, this thing can actually use like a 250 horsepower engine, maybe 300, and it will be like a real grip and speed monster. Right, moving on with the next beast. The next one is called the Falcon T500X. Right, let's export it or let's actually, you know, let's uh, select it and move on. Here we go. So the next car, as I mentioned, it's called the Falcon T500X. So the, the Falcon T500X is running with 177 horsepower, 445cc. 
wow, this is a this is a, this is a tiny engine. So 177 horsepower, 445 cc, three-cylinder turbo, and it's all-wheel drive. Yeah, that's a tiny little engine. It's a bit angry, but it's a tiny little engine. Right. As you can see, the car looks beautiful. Actually, it's it's a it's a two door uh, basically it's, it's a convertible and or a roadster, whatever the hell you want to call it. We have a massive rear wing, massive front lips, double lips action, as you can see, and uh, it's an angry engine. So let's see. I haven't driven it yet, but uh, let's see. <laughs> It's automatic. Whoa, it's automatic. Wow. Wow, it's automatic gearbox. That, that was a surprise. Nice touch. Not bad, 177 horsepower, not bad. Wow. Brilliant, brilliant choice, the gearbox. Wow, wow indeed, it's not, wow, I mean, it's an automatic gearbox, I mean, you get in, put it in drive, and just steer and brakes, wow, I, I mean, I like it as a racing car, it's a beautiful, actually, it's actually beautiful, because, think about it, I mean, it's a racing car that weighs 500 kilos, and you basically get in, start the engine, put it in drive, and drive that's it you don't have to give you don't you don't have to worry about clutch gearbox nothing just put it in drive and drive as fast as you can and you know <laughs> wow i like it i genuinely like it it's a beautiful way to get around to get around the you know the turbo lag because face it it's it's a, it's only a 445 cc three cylinder engine which is basically like the worst engine ever to put a turbocharger on 
And not only it's the worst engine, it's actually the smallest <laughs> 445cc. And it's actually good. This thing reached 200, horse, 200 kilometers per hour on the straight line. It's this thing is feels you know grips like super glue around corners. It's so easy to drive. You don't have to worry about absolutely anything. Absolutely sweet. Very 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 nice work indeed. And I definitely enjoyed this thing because I I I never expected to see an automatic gearbox in this challenge. Absolutely spot on. All right, gentlemen, the next car is called... Oh, now the next car is going to be a bit sad. Yeah. A bit sad, unfortunately. I mean, I, I really had high hopes for it, but yeah, you will definitely see why I'm a bit sad about it. So the next car, as I mentioned, is called the Gamma 3.0. Here we go. Um... I've seen pictures, I've seen pictures of it on Instagram, the interior. Uh, is, is that the one with the four seats? I've seen pictures on Instagram where for, you know, for a Koenigsegg with four seats. I don't know if that's the one that you are talking about, Mr. Technovaz, but I've seen a picture of it today, actually. All right, gentlemen, so the next car is called the, uh, the Gamma 3.0. Yes, the Gamma 3.0. It's running with 337 horsepower, uh, 1. 1.5 liter Boxer 4 turbo, and it's front wheel drive. Yes, my friends, front wheel drive. This is the, fir the first front wheel drive car. Ah, that's the one then. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, 337 horsepower. As you can see, it looks actually rather good. It looks like a spaceship, a French-looking spaceship car with, you know, some uh, questionable-looking fixtures like the front wing and all of that. But the sad thing is not the looks, is not the, you know, the engine or anything. Let me just drive it and... Uh, let me just drive it and demonstrate the problem with it. Here we go. First thing, first thing that I, that I can see is the temperature of the engine. The engine gets so hot, basically it will explode. And it did explode actually. I've driven this car before. And yes, the engine is will explode basically at the end. be really careful with the throttle. Gently. Here we go. Right. So let me stop it here because... Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so the timer won't run. Okay. So the problem with this thing is n not the wheel spin or the engine temperature. No, this thing, these things are actually... You can control them by, well, lay off the throttle. The problem with this thing is well it's not stable at all at high speeds yep so if you if you put, keep your foot hard down this thing will spin out and flip on its head and will total itself if you let if you let, if you you know let off the throttle a little bit you can control it but it will be really slow so let me demonstrate and look at the temperature by the way whoa look at the temperature no, 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 it's not, it's not, look at that, yep, let's try again, this time I'll lay off the throttle,
This thing is not stable at all. A little bump and it will just flip on its side. Come on, take the corner. Oh, stupid car. Drivable, it's why did you choose front wheel drive? And it's overheating, by the way. I let off the throttle so this thing won't crash. I can't put my keep my foot hard down because it will crash. Above 230 it will crash. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> right, so yes, you can drive it, and yes, you can actually survive two laps with this thing, but you have to be absolutely really, 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 really careful with the throttle. So maybe you can actually get it faster, maybe if, if you are a little bit more careful, not letting the tires spin all the time, yes, you can actually, uh, you know, make it a little go a little bit faster but you know this is i like this is like the fastest thing that i can do, go with this thing because it's absolutely unstable it's <laughs> just spins the tires all the time i mean you, you you really can't use the power and even when you and even when you use the power the engine basically will overheat and it will blow up i i've actually drive i've actually driven this this car before i uh before I started the, started the live stream and the engine did blow up with me. I did like around four laps, five laps with it so I can, you know, learn how to control this thing and the engine actually at the end blew up in my face. I have a, I have a screenshot and I can actually share it on Discord. But I'm actually surprised that I, that, I, that I actually finished two laps with it without crashing it because 
uh, I on the straight line I let off the throttle I you know I, I lay off the throttle a little bit to maintain like 230 220 kilometers per hour this way it will not spin out and crash but in general I love the thinking which is like a massive you know it's not really a four-door sedan it's actually a two-door but you know it's like a grand coupe it looks French to me I like that it's actually very unique and it's front-wheel drive and all that power goes to the front wheels you know I like it it's actually crazy but you know it needs a lot of work to be actually a, a very very enjoyable racing car because right now unfortunately it's not that enjoyable it's actually pretty scary so nice work Mr. Jafura I really like this car but it needs more work so nice work let's move on with number eight so after the Gamma 3.0, we have the Halkin, Halkin XR8. Here we go. Uh, right, so let me put a, uh, a check mark next to the Gamma 3.0. And yes, you are hearing it correctly. A V8. So... The Halkin XR8 is running with 188 horsepower, 1.5 liter V8 engine, and it's rear wheel drive. And as you can see, it looks absolutely special. That's why this thing actually got a star because it looks very special actually it look actually very nice uh, you know massive rear wing the, the lips the look at the massive rear diffuser the, the exhaust and all of that everything looks very very special look at the side look at the side skirt look at the side skirt it's beautiful look at that Right, so 188 horsepower, let's see. Manual gearbox. Whoa, under steer. the lift we lost the front lip
there's a seventh view. Okay. This thing is so loud, so loud. And well, as you can see, the fastest time that I could do with this thing is 1 minute 38.489. The reason for that is because uh, there is so much downforce. This thing actually is under steering. There is so much rear downforce because of that massive aeroplane rear wing and the the reason for that this thing actually understeers so much so you have to be really careful but with with the with the you know when you when you want to enter a corner you have to be really careful with what kind of speed what 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 is your speed like what kind of speed you want to enter that corner because if you enter too fast you will understeer and hit a wall if you under if you enter too slow there will be though much there won't be though much, so much downforce that you will actually spin out because it's rear wheel drive so you have to be really careful with what kind of speed you want to enter a corner also the engine it might, might be a v8 but it's it's to be honest it's actually very very low on power i mean i would i would love a turbocharged smaller engine instead of using a v8 with uh, with with like 10,000 rpm and not much horsepower going on i mean why do you want to put like eight cylinders eight pistons eight connecting rods and a, like a very very complex and expensive engine why do you want to select that when you can actually make more power with a simpler turbocharged engine that's my thinking all the time so as you can see the results speak for themselves yes the car looks awesome yes it sounds amazing but it's actually not that fast you know but uh, you know good work i love it i love the looks love the idea of you know of a v8 i always love a v8 noise but yeah, this thing actually needs a much, much more powerful engine than this. So nice work for the Halken XR8 creator. Let's move on with the next car. Right, so after the Halken XR8, we have the CAG, K-A-G, Micro GT. Right, let's open it and see what's what. So, so far, nice collection of cars, really, really impressive collection of cars, really awesome. Some of them are actually broken, some of them are actually sweet, but uh, what can we do? It's a very, very special challenge, very unique, so it happens. Right, so my friends, the next car is called the... Okay, let, let, let me put the check mark first on the Halkin. Here we go. So the next car is called the KAG Micro GT. This thing is running with 265 horsepower, 1.2 liter inline six turbo, and it's all wheel drive. So inline six, my friends. Wow, okay. So 200 and, uh, 265 horses. Here we go. Wow, the bookshelf is actually functional. That's it? Come on.
All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. With a total time of 3 minutes 11.960. That's not bad. The fastest lap that I did with this thing is 1 minute 34.005. Not bad. Not bad at all. This thing actually feels fast. You know, the engine feels actually powerful. The gearbox ratios are not bad, actually. Suspension tune and aerodynamics, or as, as who called it that? Mr. Uh, ah, Mr. Mr. Neres, he actually called it the bookshelf. Yeah, the bookshelf actually is functional. This thing actually grips really, really hard and it drives really, really hard. And, uh, you know, for, for the engine size, because, I mean, it's only a 1.2 liter engine in line six turbo. It's actually a very, very powerful beast. Yeah, very, very powerful winged beast. Top speed is not that impressive, but, you know, because there are there's so much downforce going on, the top speed is actually crap, but uh, I like the cornering performance. It's actually very, very noticeable, and it's very, very sweet. Sweet, sweet indeed. So very, very nice work to the KAG Micro GT creator. All right. Let's move on with number 10. So after the uh, let's see, after that we have aha we have the Mac Lee L17. Okay, the Mac Lee L17. Let's see what's what. Let me put the put the check mark and now first see. Whoa. All right, so the Mac Lee L17 is running with a 1.7 liter V8. Yes, naturally aspirated V8, 216 horsepower, and it's rear wheel drive. And basically, this is how it looks. Right, here we go. Oh, what the hell? Okay, let's try again. Oh, very long gears. Oh, for God's sake. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I need to I need to restart it. I I, because it's not fair 
to drive it after I spun out. It's not fair. So I apologize, but let's try it again. One more last time, if this thing won't survive, I'm gonna kick it out.
I don't care. I really don't care because this thing was about to get disqualified. I mean, this thing, uh, the brakes are absolutely crap on this thing. They are so powerful that when you actually, I mean, even with the ABS, these things are locking really hard and causing the car to basically lose control. Every time you, you get near the brakes, this thing actually lose control immediately. Uh, not only that, because it's rear wheel drive and because of the lack of rear grip, for some reason, this thing actually is not great. Even if, yeah, like second, I mean, the gears, I mean, you, you, you saw that the gears are so long. Second gear actually goes up all the way up, up to 165, something like this kilometers per hour, which is absolutely crazy long gearing. And even with that, this thing is spinning its tires hard because first of all, it's 10,000 RPM. That's the limit on the engine, which causes the final drive to be absolutely wonky and crazy in automation game. And second of all, there is not much, uh, you know, rear grip and rear downforce to put the power down all the time. I mean, if you if you corner hard and get near the throttle, this thing will spin out hard. And if you get near the brakes, it will spin out and crash hard. So yeah, this thing definitely needs more work. I apologize of the from the you know uh, of the creator of it. If, if I was a, li a little bit slow with it, as you can see, I went oh, 1 minute 35. This thing's supposed to run like 1 minute 34 or 33 maybe on the second lap, but I couldn't do that. This thing spun out and nearly crashed. So I apologize, but I mean, that's, that's the best that I can do. This thing actually needs more work. So we've driven 10 cars. Let's move on with number 11. Right, so after the Mac Lee, ah, the Model 184 is broken actually, so let's move on with the MRN RS500. Here we go. MRN RS500. All right, gentlemen, the next beast that we have here, it's called, okay, let me check this one first. Okay, so the, the next beast is called uh, the MRN RS500. This thing actually received a star because, I mean, look at it. It looks absolutely beautiful. Customized headlights. Why this thing is moving backwards? This thing is moving backwards for some reason. Look at that. Brakes are actually on, but this thing is moving backwards. <laughs> What the? Okay, so as I mentioned, this thing received a star because this thing has a crazy amount of details going on and really, really, really awesome, good looking. Look at that. This thing absolutely looks absolutely sweet. And it got a star because of the crazy attention to details that is going on. Yeah, moving, it's moving backwards for some reason. Okay, so the, as I mentioned, the previous car was broken because... Uh, oh, the, the previous car was broken because the, the the tires every time you load it into the game uh, the, the four tires will be broken the car won't have any tires at all or actually won't have any wheels so let's uh, reload this thing because this thing is moving backwards for some reason uh, this the MRN, the MRN RS500 is using a 1.8 liter four cylinder natural aspirated 240 horsepower it's rear wheel drive. So, here we go. Wow, this is rear wheel drive.
sideways. <laughs> wow. Right. So, yes, 1 minute 30. Yes, I, I, I was reading your comment. You said 1 minute 27 because basically you drove your car a hundred times. I drove it. This is the first time that I, that, I, that I ever drove your car. Like, I only did two laps, the first one and the second one. Obviously, yes, if I keep driving it and learning it, I will get faster, you know. But, you know, as a, as a first time driving your car, 1 minute 30 is actually not bad. 1 minute 30 exactly. So it's really awesome. And as you can see, with a total time of 3 minutes 04.871. Very, very sweet, to be honest. I mean, look at that. Your car, let's say your car is the MRN RS500. It's running a naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine, 1.8 liter, with only 240 horsepower. And you are actually in the fourth place. You actually destroyed turbocharged all-wheel drive monsters that we have driven already and some of them were actually very very awesome and your car with its rear-wheel drive and amazing tunability it's actually yeah very very nice work i'll have to say it's actually very very sweet look at that three minutes oh four you actually destroyed some really really brilliant uh, turbocharged monsters actually and some of them were actually v8 some of them were actually four cylinders turbocharged some of them actually six cylinders so i'll have to say very very nice work cool very very nice work i'm actually impressed the car looks amazing this thing actually received a star because of its looks and it's definitely a star in its performance because again it's rear wheel drive and it did actually act a little bit like rear wheel drive there there was a little bit of you know oversteering on that on that corner uh, with with the white side with the white large apex on the right so yeah there was a little bit of oversteer here so it's cool it's really awesome i love the looks love the performance so very very nice work my friend indeed all right 11 cards in let's see what is number 12. first let me do something quickly uh no not that what is that Here we go. All right, gentlemen, so let's see what we have next. After the MRN, we have, let's see, what is the amount? MRN RS500. We have the Regal Diavolo. Diavolo, which is unfortunately broken. I've already demonstrated how this thing is broken. Every time you load it into BMG, the rear tires bro you know, broke off, but they will break off immediately. Uh, the both wheels they will break off immediately and basically you have no wheels at all you have only front ones so this this thing got a dnf uh, i already mentioned that and demonstrated that at the beginning of the live stream all right so the next card is called the uh, serpentine i think Serpen serpentine serpentine whatever s4-tr so let's load it and see what's what Thank you, Mr. Tarix. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, you know, for a first time driving them, yes, it could it, it could get a little bit messy, but you know, with time, you will definitely get used to it and be f faster and faster and faster because you will definitely learn how to steer it, learn how how much throttle, how much brake to use, you know, and so on. So the Serpentine S4 T-TR, as you can see, it received a star because of its looks. Look at it. It looks absolutely stunning, as you can see. Yeah, we have another fake exhaust, obviously. but still, it looks very nice. So the Serpentine is, is running with a one one liter only. Yes, one liter four cylinder turbo pushing 250 horsepower and it's rear wheel drive so let's see what's what whoa what's wrong with it Whoa, this thing wants to, this thing is so 
sensitive. is so sensitive you can't steer it I'm not gonna repeat the laugh I'm not I don't care because it's so sensitive whoa it's, it's dancing oh my god it's dancing Let's try it without. It's not stable. Wow, it's actually stable without the rear wing. How is that possible? Well, not. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Yep, definitely. definitely a dnf definitely a dnf i mean this thing is so uncontrollable i mean i tried my best to control it it's uncontrollable the the steering is so sensitive this thing is is not, is unable i mean you really you will be absolutely unable to steer it a little bit like one percent of steering input it will just lose control it, it this thing feels like there's no downforce whatsoever zero downforce if this thing feels like it's running negative downforce front and rear there is no grip whatsoever my friends i'm sorry but this thing i mean yes it got a star because it looks awesome but it drives really crappy unfortunately this thing definitely needs uh, more work on on how on its performance more than its looks yes it looks awesome but this thing definitely needs more work on its performance so here's the x next to its name and the nf I apologize but uh, yeah good looks terrible driving unfortunately unfortunately this is very terrible so better luck next time to the creator of it all right so after the serpentine which was unfortunately a failure we have the strata b500 here we go let's open it and see what's what hello mr ttv um Ma Marcel, Marcel, I think, whatever. Hello, my friend. Thank you for joining my testing video for the 500 kilograms challenge in automation game. Right. So, something broke off somewhere. So, this is the uh, this is the Strata B500. Uh, this thing is running with a 200 horsepower, 900 cc V6 turbo. Yes, V6 turbo. And it's uh, rear wheel drive 200 horsepower as you can see it looks rather good actually it doesn't really look that bad so let's see how this thing drives again
Why this th why this thing is turning to the right? I mean, I didn't crash it. I didn't bend the suspension, but this thing actually turns to the right on its own. Wow. Okay, it's continuing. Look at, look at that. Right. Okay, so this thing did 1 minute 37.074, which is not bad actually for, you know, for its drivability and for its power. Because as I mentioned, this thing is only running with a 200 horsepower V6 turbo, it's rear wheel drive, and it's, it's very twitchy actually, to be honest. It's uh, very, very twitchy, you know, because, uh, I don't know, for some reason this thing loves to spin out and controlling it is actually not that, not that easy also the brakes are a little bit too powerful for the weight of the car and the grip so if you push the brakes too hard this thing will actually you know lose control also because it's it's very light and not much downforce is on the rear tires and because you know it's rear wheel drive this thing loves to oversteer so it's not easy to drive but you can drive it you can actually enjoy it and you can actually learn how to drive it so with a little bit extra work like just a little bit more this thing will be actually pretty pretty awesome so let me check it on my book and let's move on with the next one very nice work right now the next car is called the super legera 500 so basically i have one two three four four cars left to drive so super legera 500 here we go So the Super Legera 500 is running with a 200, 280 horsepower, 1.9 liter V6 naturally aspirated, and it's all wheel drive. All right. So this is basically how it looks. It's, it's not really a looker, you know. It's 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 not bad, but it's not perfect. So let's give it a go. 280 horsepower.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? This thing actually this thing actually turned on its own and wow. And the brakes, why the brakes are so sensitive? There is no ABS and pushing like 1% of the brakes and they will lock all of them. Wow, let's try again. with this thing what, what the one more last time if this time does the same if this, if this thing does the same thing again I will put it on the DNF list sorry but this thing is broken there is something really wrong with it every time every time on this on this straight line it just shoots to the left on its own i mean the steering was all the way like this or when this thing happened and nothing it just loves to shoot to the left for some reason there is something wrong with the downforce my friend there is absolutely something wrong with the downforce maybe there is too much front downforce maybe there is too much oversteer or there is something definitely lifting off which causes this thing to just shoot to the left or shoot to the right depends on the corner that's not great and unfortunately that means this thing is unfortunately on the DNF list better luck next time to the creator of it all right all right let's see what we have next so after the uh, super Legera 500 we have aha uh -huh, the Tofik Motors Bazinga. All right, my favorite word actually, because it's from the uh, my favorite comedy TV show, The Big Bang Theory. Doctor Sheldon Cooper. All right, the Tofik Motors Bazinga is running with 276 horsepower, 926 cc four-cylinder turbo, and it's all-wheel drive. So as you can see, it looks actually rather very good love the good stone uh, you know stickers going on the front of it looks very sweet the rims are very sweet as well love the attention to details love the sticker love the love, love the layout of the fixtures it, look at the rear the rear also is absolutely sweet as well i like it it looks very cute and tiny and and bazinga all the way so let's give it a go we have 276 horsepower at my disposal so let's see what's what Oh, very 
out the brakes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. Wow, wow. I'm I'm actually very very impressed. Come on, the Tofik Motors with its 926cc engine. This thing actually achieved the fourth place with a total time of 3 minutes 02.187. Oh wow. And a lap time of 1 minute 1 minute 28.882. Oh, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This thing actually is uh, very sweet. Yes, I did made a little, a little, made a little, a little, a little, a little tiny mistakes. But you know, if we, if I keep driving it, you know, like for five or six laps, yes, I can definitely get more, get faster than this. But I'm genuinely impressed. Genuinely, I'm very, very impressed. Wow, fourth place, three minutes 02.187. Wow, what a monster! Actually, very sweet. All right. Very very nice work to the to the Tofik Bazinga Motors. I like that. It's very sweet. And that means, of course, we have two cars left, my friends. Two cars left, and no one so far got even close to the first car, the fastest car so far. No one got even close. So the next car, it's called the U Car Metro 18 Livery Rear Wheel Drive. All right, let's take a look. Wow, very, 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 very awesome. What happened? Something broke. So, well, as you can see, we have um, we have some Need for Speed Underground 2 vibe going on, which is not bad, not bad at all. Oh, thank you, someone actually followed me. Thank you. So we have some lo some lovely Need for Speed Underground, uh, you know, vibe. You know the flames and the pink and the uh... yeah. Aha! Uh -huh, so 
Okay, so that's really awesome. Very, very nice looking car indeed. It looks absolutely very, very special. And... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not really riced out. No, I can't say riced, but it's special. It's really special. And, uh, you know, it says the 18 livery for some reason. So, okay, I think that is inspired by the 18, I think. But it's not bad. So, uh, the U car Metro 18 rear wheel drive is running with 888 cc engine. It's a five cylinder turbo, 311 horsepower. Ho oh, ho. And all that goes to the rear wheels. So, let's see what's what. Sounds good. Everything is looking good. So, here we go. And yes, we have visible interior, by the way. Here we go. All right, the speed actually is good. Grip. Oh, it's actually grippy. And it's scraping. There is so much grip. This thing actually is scraping. Look at that. Whoa, super glue. I love super glue grip. Come on, give me more. So there is so much downforce, it's scraping its face. Right. And brake. Oh, brakes are very strong, I like that. It scrapes a lot, but it's so grippy. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's so grippy. Whoa. Oh, oh. Yep, sparks and everything, like an F1 car. Look at that! Very strong. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. So yes, both of you guys. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, some of you said it will be, it will take the pole. Some of you said it, it won't. As you can see, it did one minute thirty. Yes, the first lap was crap, as you can see, 1 minute 37. Second one was 1 minute 30. I dropped like 6.7 seconds. But, you know, still, I mean, it's not gonna... I mean, maybe, maybe if I do another lap right now, maybe it will take the pole. Maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, doing 3, three minutes 02 or even faster, that's that's a huge, <laughs> that's a huge, you know, uh, you know, gamble. But it's actually not bad. It's actually very grippy. Uh, Power, the power delivery is a bit slow. I'll have to say the engine feels laggy. The engine feels extremely laggy. 
for some reason but uh, obviously if there's only one reason which is the turbo but still it feels very laggy the power de delivery is very slow but the grip around corners is phenomenal this thing's scrape as you mentioned like an f1 car and the brakes are extremely powerful and i love that the grip is awesome the brakes are awesome but the power delivery is very slow because it's a tiny engine it's boosted to through the roof and you know it's it's actually very laggy yeah it's extremely laggy and i think the reason that made that made this thing really slow is the power delivery it's really slow the power delivery but still sixth place not bad at all not bad at all very very nice looking i mean yes it looks special and we have a visible interior and all these things definitely took a lot of time and effort to create and I thank the creator of this car for spending this much time giving us this unique looking beast. Alright gentlemen, the final vehicle for tonight or for this challenge basically, not for tonight because I'm going to be showing you some awesome things later. So the final vehicle in this challenge which is the Uray, I think it's called the Uray maybe, Uray Khan. So let's choose it or let's take it and see how this thing will actually run. Right. Let's check the UCAR 818 livery thing on my book. Here we go, here we go. Whoa, what happened? Something, something broke off. What? I think. Anyway, so the, the final car in this challenge, it's called the Uray Khan. 215 horsepower, one and a half liter four cylinder turbo, and it's rear wheel drive so who knows maybe the results will change maybe it will keep it will be it will of course still or to actually be the same who knows so what we have here is a um it's a special looking vehicle not bad actually it looks it looks like a track car we have some sponsorships on the side there is no, nothing to worry about you know or you know some aftermarket Things. the engine definitely is sticking out a little bit but not bad not bad at all so let's see i wish you all i wish you all the best of luck gentlemen maybe the results may or may not change so whoa that's not great let's be careful go mm -hmm. right. we have a lot of oversteer or a lot of uh, fire spinning Settle down. Settle down. are not that powerful.
Let them spin out. Cross the line. Right. So this thing did, where is it? Ah, it's in the 13th place. All right, 13th place then. With a total time of 3 minutes, 12.295. Uh, and a best lap of, uh, best, best timed lap of 1 minutes 34.724. All right, not bad. The car feels a bit twitchy. There is a lot of, uh, there is a lot of wheel spin. Uh, the, 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 the rear differential feels like an open differential there is always that one tire fire or you know the one tire spin all the time which causes the car to lose control if you are pushing the throttle too much um, also the brakes are too powerful on on some corners which causes or not not really too powerful i think the brake balance is uh, not really that great which set the car you know uh, you know off its balance which is not really great uh, and uh, but still you know it's it feels like a track car but it needs a little bit more fine tuning to make it much better it needs a little bit more downforce uh, better brake balance and i think it will be a lot better and i think a little bit different suspension tune all right and that settles it my friend for the 500 kilograms challenge <laughs> created by mr elmac and well won by mr elmac so yes congratulations to mr elmac for creating the challenge of you know, for sponsoring it and for winning it at the same time with his uh, 500 mark one vehicle with a total time of two minutes 43.8457 wow i mean look at the difference in times 30, two minutes 34 two minutes 55 for the dragona and three minutes dead for the third place that's a huge difference actually because Mr. Ilmark's car is running with 408 horsepower. It was extremely grippy, extremely crazy. And well, yeah. All right. So we have driven all the cars. But there's one car left that we haven't driven. I, I haven't driven it yet on the road Atlanta circuit. I haven't driven this car yet on the road Atlanta circuit. Which is the prize car. Yes, my friends. The prize car, which is the X-Type racer. I haven't driven it yet. On the road atlanta circuit i drove it on the lake something track which was absolutely so much fun because that track is so com compact and so sl so small obviously road atlanta is larger basically so this is the price car which is of course the x racer x type racer basically created by me i don't know why no one actually went with this body i kind of like this body but still so yeah, we have a five-cylinder engine, I don't know, 200 and 280 horsepower, something like this. It's all the drive, all carbon fiber, carbon fiber roof, hood, massive rear spoiler or wing, whatever the name of it. So let's see how this thing will run.
yeah top speed as you can see it's also limited because downforce you know Final stretch. look at that look at that gentlemen check it out whoa the price car is actually surprisingly whoa that look at that i got really close whoa i got really close from the dragoona the dragoona with its amazing grip and well how much horsepower the dragoona is running the dragoona is running with uh what is it where is it in my book come on where are you? ah the Dragona is running 247 horsepower, 2 liter 4 cylinder. Oh, yeah. Wow. And look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at the price car. Actually, I'm surprised. This thing actually drove very, very nicely. 2 minutes 56.825. And the best lap, best lap time of 1 minute 26.155. All right. That's actually not bad at all. I'm actually surprised. This thing actually drove very 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 nicely and well my friends that's pretty much it for this 500 kilograms challenge and i really had so much fun creating it uh, with mr with, of course mr ilmac big thanks to mr ilmac for sponsoring this awesome challenge and uh, well better luck next time to the disqualified cars creators you know for creating cars that were actually broken or you know broke because they broke the rules or something i apologize for that and better luck next time and big thanks of course to everyone that participated and for everyone that sent me their awesome creations on this challenge very very nice work for everyone i got some really amazing cars i learned a lot of things in this challenge because i've never created such such a crazy and small and little car and light car like that i mean 500 kilos i made actually engines that were heavier than than the whole than whole of this car i mean the v16 king engine weighs I don't know more than 500 kilograms alone it weighs more than the whole car and it was absolutely <clears throat> awesome yeah very very balanced i'm i'm surprised with this thing because it's all wheel drive the way, the way distribution yes but mr to mr Tarix, the the reason why this thing is so balanced because i'm running 50 50 way distribution mr Tarix, i'm not joking the price car is running 50 50 weight distribution the engine size and the, because it's all wheel drive and there's a real differential and the, I mean, it's absolutely spot on 50 50 weight distribution that explains uh, i think the, why it's really balanced the grip is actually very very awesome and i'm surprised that one no one actually used this body to create a car but anyway i'm really thankful for everyone big thanks for you guys for watching for supporting me and for being really awesome with your awesome comments and your crazy cars that you always send to me and of course again big thanks to mr ilmac 
All right, gentlemen, and we arrived to the end of the live stream. So uh, if you enjoyed the, the live stream, basically there is no thumbs up here. But if you are not following, if you are not a follower, consider following me, my friend. And if you love my work and if you want to sponsor your own challenge, if you want to, you know, support the channel, all these things are on my Patreon page, uh, the link down there. Uh, yes, yes, thank you, Mr. Tarix. Yeah. So uh, yes, everything is, uh, you know, below the stream the, the, the my patreon page link and everything if you want to tip the channel if you want to sponsor your own challenge if you want to become a vip member if you want to do all of that the link is uh, down there below the stream big thanks for everyone and i will see my friends very very soon with a new sponsored challenge i think that the sponsored next challenge it's called the muscle evil or evil muscle something like this basically it's like a modernized uh, modernized muscle cars so prepare your v8s prepare your muscly uh, building skills because we'll be creating some muscly modernized beasts so thank you thank you so much wow i dropped i dropped my book so yeah thank you so much everyone for watching i will see you very very soon big thanks to mr Tarix, mr neris mr mernin and well for everyone that uh, wrote an awesome comment here big thanks to everyone and uh, i will see you very very soon and well goodbye and good night for all of you, my friends.